It has been a while since I've made a True Facts video, and I've noticed that they're fairly popular. In fact, fairly is a bit of an under-exaggeration. So, now I'll make another one. This week, we go to China. The Great Wall of China is a world-famous monument built to keep out invaders from the north. Which, needless to say if you've watched the movie Mulan, didn't really work. However, it has become a historic monument defining China's borders. Well, actually, not really. However, it may be nearly 7,000 kilometers long, but if you haven't heard this myth debunked or figured out by how wide it is, being barely 3 meters wide at the top, the Great Wall of China is, despite popular belief, not visible from space. Another misconception about China is that Marco Polo brought the recipe of noodles back to Europe with him after leaving China. However, pasta had already been invented a couple centuries prior, with a reference in Sicily dating back to 1154. This isn't fake facts about China though, so let's get some actual facts. The Chinese People's Liberation Army, or the PLA, has 2.3 million active troops, with 510,000 in reserve, the largest in the world, yet less than 0.25% of China's 1.3 billion people. Conscription in China is compulsory, however, according to Wikipedia, it simply isn't enforced. China's population is scarily huge, though, especially on the crowded coast. Shanghai, Beijing, and Guangzhou are in the list of 10 biggest cities in the world, but Beijing and Guangzhou were not there in 2014. In China, cities you haven't heard of, or likely haven't heard of, like Wuhan, Chongqing, Shenzhen, Chengdu, etc., can be each bigger than New York. Well, a little bit of an exaggeration, but still. But go west, and you see the biggest cities in the area include Urumqi, with its population of 3 million, though grants of the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Republic has a population of 22 million. This brings us to our next topic. Since most of the population lives on the coast, there's actually an imaginary line, first proposed in 1935 by Hu Huanyong, called the Haihe Tangchong Line, east of which lies 43% of the area and 94% of the population of China. This is including Taiwan, by the way. And to the west, 57% of the area and 6% of the population. Or as it's known in China, about 80 million people. Yeah, keep in mind we're talking about China here. But it's kind of like a reverse Oregon, because no one lives in the eastern two-thirds of Oregon. China's a big country, though. The difference in population between China, the most populous country, and India, the second most populous, doesn't seem to be that big, but it's actually about the size of Mexico, the 11th largest country. China isn't only the most populous country in the world, it also ties with Russia to have the most neighbors, including the DBRK, Russia, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, India, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Laos, and Vietnam, a total of 14. Granted, Russia could easily bump up their numbers. China also has one of the few writing systems not inspired by earlier systems, a short list including Egyptian hieroglyphs, cuneiforms, and the Maya script, Though this can also include ink and kipos, depending on your definition of writing. The Chinese writing system doesn't function like an alphabet, silvery, or abjad, but as a logography. Comprised of different ideograms, for example, this symbol, meaning what, is pronounced in Mandarin as shi, but in Cantonese as sa, meaning that the script can allow people of certain differing languages to communicate by writing. In fact, I actually go into this deeper in my video about if Mandarin and Cantonese are separate. Spoiler alert, they pretty much are. They're not mutually intelligible. It's kind of like if we started writing whole entire messages in emoji, which we should totally do, and some people are already do. Thank you for watching this video. However, China is so interesting and full of history and culture that this video does deserve a part two in sometime in the future. Either way, please be sure to like this video and subscribe for more every week. Xia Jiu Jian.